Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this now is exponential equation. Solution from here. From what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. As this here, this becomes 8 raised to power x times 8 square, then equals to 100 from here. Then next step, you can write this as 8 raised to the power x times 8 square 8 times 8 that is 64 then equals to here yeah, we have 100 the next step here divide both sides by 64 divide this side by 64 also divide this side by 64 which implies here 64 cancelled each other and we have 8 raised to the power x left which is equals to 100 over 64 then next step here, we can write this as 8 raised to the power x equals to 4 times 25 over 4 times 16 from here. That is 4 cancel each other and we have 8 raised to the power x equals to 25 over 16. Then here yeah, we take the log on both sides. And we have here log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 25 over 16. Then next step here, apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, here we have x log 8 equals to log. 25 over 16. That is, yeah, we divide both side by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8, which implies here yeah, log 8 cancelled each other. And we have x left, which is equal to log 25 over 16 divided by log. It. Then, what we have here follows on the law of log when well, we have log a over b. This can be written as log a minus log b. That is, what we have becomes x equals to log 25 minus log 16 over log 8. Then, Next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 25 over log 8 minus log 16 over log 8. Then, from what we have here, we can express 25 as 5 times 5, that's 5 squared, and 8 as 2 times 2, times 2, that's 2 raised to the power 3, then 16 as 2, times 2, times 2, times 2, which is 2 raised to the power 4. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 5 squared over log 2 raised to the power 3, the minus here we have log 2 raised to the power 4, over log 2 raised to the power 3. Then, here we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, 3 here, also 4 comes here, and 3 comes here. And we have x now equals to 2 log 5 over 3 log 2 minus 4 log 2 over 3 log 2. That is, here, yeah, log 2 cancelled each other. We have 4 over 3 left. Then, x is now equals to, also we can separate as 2 over 3, multiplied by log 5 over log 2, then minus 4 over 3 here. That is, here we apply change of base, from where we have log a over log b. 
is the same thing as log a to base b. That is, here we have x equals to 2 over 3 log 5 base 2 minus 4 over 3. And here we can bring this together. And we have x equals to SCM as 3. And here we have 2 log 5 base 2. Then minus. Here we have 4. So here we have the value of x in this problem. As 2 log 5 is 2 minus 4 all over 3. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 log 5 base 2 minus 4 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 2 log 5 base 2 minus 4 all over 3. Then we have plus 2 here. Is equal to 100 on this side. Then from here, we can bring this power together as one. This is 2 over 1. That is, we have 8 raised to the power SCM up here. That's 3. Then we still have 2 log 5 base 2 minus 4. Then plus. Here, we now be 6. Then is equals to 100 from here. Then we have minus 4 plus 6. Same thing as 6 minus 4. That's 2. So we can say 8 raised to the power. 2 plus 2 log 5 is 2 over 3 is equals to 100 on this side. Then we can express it as 2 raised to power 3. That is here we have 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 2 plus 2 log 5 is 2 all over 3. Is equals to 100 on this side. Then this power multiplies 3 here cancel each other. We are left with 2 raised to the power 2 plus 2 log 5 is 2. Is equals to 100 here. Then we apply the law of indices here. When we have a raised to the power m plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. Then here we have 2 raised to the power 2 times 2 raised to the power 2 log 5 raised to 2 is equals to 100 on this side. And 2 raised to the power 2 here, yeah, that's 4 n times. Here we reverse this 2 from power log. And we have 2 raised to the power log 5 square base 2 is equals to 100 on this side. That is, here we have 4 times 2 raised to the power log. 5 square that's 25 base 2 is equals to 100 here. Then what we have here follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b from here. That this here, this is 25. We have 4 times 25 is equals to 100 on this side. Of course, 4 times 25 gives us 100, which is equal to 100 from here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side, and hence here, we conclude that x equals to 2 log 5 is 2 minus 4 all over 3 satisfies this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.